So there's a lot of change and a lot of new and exciting things coming to the Fort Lauderdale area in 2023. And today we're gonna to tell you all about them. Hey guys, it's Rob Zioli, real estate agent here in South Florida. Welcome to my channel, which is all about real estate and living right here in sunny South Florida. And again, today we're talking about new and exciting things coming to the Fort Lauderdale area in 2023. These include condo developments, restaurants, bars, retail space. And we're gonna start out with the Fort Lauderdale Broward County Convention Center. Now speaking for myself and I'm sure I speak for a lot of other people in the area, I <laughs> can't wait for this to be finally done. Been working on it for a while. Uh, the first phase was done, I think it was October of 2021. Now the center is about 800,000 square feet now, and there's also a new expansion to that. I think it's about 350,000 square feet. Uh, that was completed again in October 2021. I think they hosted the boat show from last year in the new portion. Now work on the remainder of the $1.3 billion expansion continues. There's going to be um, an east side expansion, waterfront ballrooms, meeting rooms. There's also gonna be a six acre outdoor waterfront plaza, a 30 story Omni Fort Lauderdale hotel is gonna be connected with the convention center. Now they're expecting full completion on the entire convention center in 2025, but it's good to see that they're starting to hold some events there. Now let's move on to some condo developments starting with 6th and Rio in downtown Fort Lauderdale. So 6th and Rio is a luxury rental building that's been converted into condo those they started sales back in February of 2023. Now the building is nine stories, is that gonna be about 94 uh, separate condo units. Now this building is right along the New River in downtown Fort Lauderdale, so excellent location and incredible views of the New River and downtown Fort Lauderdale. Now the building itself is gonna offer one to three bedroom floor plans. They're gonna range from 932 to about 2,300 square feet in size. We're also gonna have some townhomes that are gonna range between 1,600 and and 1700 square feet and the amenities are going to be incredible there's gonna be a rooftop swimming pool cabanas fitness center uh, restaurants and cafes are also right by the new river now this is going to be the first project or condo project in the area in the last several years and it's going to be a building that's going to be very very popular with locals and also investors because you can rent up to four times a year with a three-month minimum stay restriction. Now prices are gonna start around $900,000 and go up to uh, and over 2 million for some of the larger units in the building. Now next on the list is a Salato in Pompano Beach. Now this site used to be called Riney Residences, which was also a small apartment complex and is gonna be replaced by this beautiful building. So this building is also gonna be a luxury type building. It's gonna have 43 bedroom residences starting at about 2,100 square feet. And they're also gonna feature uh, extra large 14 foot deep terraces, and they're gonna range from 320 to about 750 square feet. So this project is also gonna have world-class amenities, including a 20,000 square foot deck. It's also gonna have an ocean view pool, a bar, and a spa. Amenities are also going to include a pool, a bar, a wellness lounge, a nutrition bar, fitness center, private wine lockers, as well as full-time beach and pool attendance. So prices in Salado are gonna start at just under 2 million, and the units are gonna range from 2,100 to 3,300 square feet. Now next on the list is the addition residences of Fort Lauderdale that just starting to break ground. So this site is gonna be a little bit closer to the beach on Bayshore Drive. It's gonna be a pair of buildings, and they're not gonna allow any short-term rentals there. They're trying to uh, preserve the exclusivity and privacy of the residents. So there's gonna be two 11-story buildings that make up the complex. There's gonna be about 65 different units with incredible, incredible intercoastal views. Now this development is also gonna have some world-class amenities. There's gonna be more than 20,000 square feet of outdoor amenities, including two resort-style oversized pools, outdoor private cabanas, a residence-only poolside restaurant, a moon roof, a zen garden, and many, many other uh, incredible amenities you would expect from a luxury uh, building in this location. Now prices are gonna range between 3 million and 7.5 million, and these are for the two to four bedroom units. Also, they're gonna be four penthouse units, and they're gonna be upwards of $10 million. Now let's move on to dining, and we gotta talk about the Bite Eatery in Pompano Beach. This place is really, really cool. So the Bite Eatery includes the Beach Bar, which is a full liquor bar, plus there's 10 different food vendors, so you get all different types of food. There's Taco Vibes, 
uh, Moop Gelato, The Deli Shack, Beef Boys, Papa's Pizzeria, The Lobstar, I Heart Mac and Cheese. Uh, there's a place called Sen Bazuto Asian Fusion, which is really, really cool. Um, Ceviche Time, so really, really cool place. I definitely recommend checking this out. This is just in Pompano, just minutes from the beach. Also, moving on to the Sistrunk Marketplace, they have expanded. Now they're up to, I think, 13 different food vendors. Now, the Sistrunk Marketplace is in downtown Fort Lauderdale. Incredible food, including Marie's Kitchen, great Italian food. Henry Sandwiches and Island Made, which is a Caribbean place, and the Dream State Brewing Bar, which is one of the many new craft uh, pubs and bars opening up throughout the city. Now, let's not forget about the kids, and coming up this month is the giant Lego sculptures over at Flamingo Gardens. So this exhibit is gonna feature over 40 different sculptures made from more than 800,000 Legos. The exhibition explores the beauty of nature through contemporary stylized and colorful displays that stand in striking contrast to their surroundings. Now, the Flamingo Gardens is located in Davie, Florida. It is one of the oldest natural botanical gardens and wildlife sanctuaries in all of South Florida. Now, what about transportation? So we're getting quite congested here in the Fort Lauderdale area. So this is good stuff. Now, as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, there's a bunch of these different craft breweries opening throughout Fort Lauderdale and they have some free transportation and a little bit of a uh, circuit or a route for you to go visit them all. So this is called the Visit Fort Lauderdale Ale Trail Passport, and it's a free mobile exclusive digital pass that locals and visitors can sign up for. So it makes it easier to visit all of these uh, different breweries throughout the city or the county. And um, if you're gonna visit all of them, you will absolutely need this free transportation. Definitely don't drive. So pretty, pretty cool, pretty interesting that, they're, um, that they have this uh, free shuttle to take you around to get smashed at all these bars. So very, very good idea. <laughs> Now for those normal people that just want to get some free transportation or convenient transportation and not absolutely get hammered, there's something called the circuit. Now, I think I had one of these pass by a few times in my uh, uh, previous video about Las Olas, but it's just a very, very cool and convenient way to see the city. Now these are electric open air vehicles. They've got the drivers that know all the areas. They can take you to all the best hotspots. Uh, for food and for shopping. They ain't got to worry about parking or any of those headaches. There's also a free app you can download and plan your trip. So very, very cool and very convenient. Also, I got to mention the Lord Go, which is a free, uh, it's like a water trolley. It gives you a little bit of a, a tour and takes you around some of the hot spots of downtown Fort Lauderdale and all the different canals. Really, really another cool way to see the city. And there's also the Lord Go Micro Mover, which does the same thing, but just on the streets. So very, very cool and different ways to relieve some of the congestion here throughout the Fort Lauderdale area. So there you have it guys. We're going to wrap it up right there. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're planning a move into or out of the South Florida area, myself and my team would love to be your real estate resource of choice and love to get the process started for you. All you got to do is reach out. You can email me at rob at homes by robertz.com or give me a call or text me at the number below and I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy.